Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back to another episode with DeGroff Shop. Let's check out the highlights. We started off with a penalty and Shedahull, our left winger, puts it in for the opening goal of the season. Then he takes control down the left flank, brings it into the attack zone, beats the defender, puts a header. We get a flick down from Viad and Quazy puts it into the net. We'll speed it up a little bit here. We're up 2-0. The Tumba brings it down that left side of the box, holds it up, lays it off, shed a hole, bangs it in from the edge of the box, and that was another goal for him. I believe that's a hat trick. Shed a hole then brings it down, lays it off, Diallo into the box, and it's Chris Natumba with the goal there. 4 0. And in the 60th minute, they lump one out of the box. They get a flick on header, and Broners beats Case for the goal to get them on the board. 4-1. to one. We come back. It's Nateb sitting on a yellow card. Crosses it in, and Shedahull gives a little tap to Natumba. That's the brace for him, and we take a 5-1 lead. The scoring is not done. There is DeVries, and he puts it into Arab, and he scores. Making it 5-2, to two, and then a very similar play, just lumps it down. Browers beats Baracek and slots it home. 5-3 to three. in the 92nd minute. We would hold on at that point. They had 10 shots, 4 on target with 3 goals. We had 19 shots. Big scoring game. And, yes, uh, won the hat trick. It was just a brace. He had the assist. That was the other th time that I saw him. So we're going to put an arm around him and go that route there. Let's finish out the day. We've got one more match there. There we go. So we're going to start the season in second position with a plus two goal differential. Very happy with that. All right, we'll be right back with our match with PSV momentarily. All right, we are playing PSV today, and, you know, they're pretty dominant. So here's who we're going with. We do have a couple of injuries. Mitchell Quazy uh, was injured. He'll be back in about a week. And uh, Chris Natumbo got hurt in training. Uh, he should be back. He's already back at training, but not quite. Uh, at a hundred percent. So we're going to go with uh, Anachik today in goal, Jigu and Nemeth on the wings. We're going to start Jan Jansen, so he'll get his debut. Nedib is in there as well. Sakalo in the deep defensive mid position, which we have changed from support to defend. Diallo and Slot Boom in the midfield. Vogel Souk's going to get the inverted winger. On the right over Quazy and Viad up top. Not sure, you know, this is gonna be good to see where we where we stand in the pecking order. Have we made up any ground? Uh let's pump our fist. We've got nothing to lose. We'll go with that one. All right, we are in the green, PSV in the red and white with the black trunks, like we're talking MMA, right? Sakalo intercepts that ball, nice. All right, let's give some encouragement. All right, they get the first shot, not even worth a highlight. Looks like Jansen's got a header to knock it away. If you see me looking over, I'm looking at my second uh, computer. Uh, I had to reinstall uh, virus protection software today. So I uh, did this computer er a little earlier, and I'm, I've got that one installing. So I'm just tracking the installation. That is all. All right, there's a header out. We defend that set piece well. And that's crossed in, but safely cleared. Ooh, I want to check one thing. Yeah, we, we did do that. Awesome. I was just making sure nobody was on ball playing defender. Because that would not be good. 
A uh, couple of other teams had played a second game, so you can see Sparta's up there, Ajax, Feyenoord. You know, PSV's moved up to fifth here with this point. Uh, but we're holding our own. So even with three, we're going to be down, you know, mid-table. Pretty happy with that. Now, we have yet to get a shot this game, so that's concerning. Tell you what, I'm going to put these guys... I'm going to put them on attack. And I'm going to drop him to support. Yeah, kind of like that. Let's do that. Gives us a few more guys in attack. I'm going to drop him back to support. So we've got the three attackers. I think that's all right. I just want to see if we can get some extra attacks. It's going to be, you know, we're playing defensively pretty well. Oh, Souk with a nice ball. Now, you got to remember, Souk was a striker last year, right? So if he's up there in the attack, if he's up there in the attack and then the other winger is also a striker, we have three strikers playing or striker-capable people. Let's uh, encourage him again. All right, that goes into the box. Cleared out quickly. Nemeth controls it. Plays it back to Neteb. Oh my goodness. All right, that goes over the top, headed away. They've got to run on deep into the box, and that is slotted home by G Giovanni Schoenbrood. Oh my goodness. And they just ripped us open completely right there, didn't they? I'm going to change this over to this tactic here. I do not want Sokalo up there. Wrong guy. Um, slot boom, Diallo. Let's bring him back. And I don't want Vogel up there. Who else do I have? I've got. Let's bring Stretoslav in for him. We'll play him up top. A few minutes early, but I want to just. Uh, this is another new tactic. I've just kind of, I've tweaked it. I took one of the other tactics and tweaked it. Instead of having the defensive mid or the attacking mid, now we've got the two wingers and two up top. So, I just seem to like two up top. I think it does better here. But we've dropped down to ninth. Command more. Oh, there's a good save by Anachik. Ooh. Um, what are we doing? I want to distribute quickly and distribute to fullbacks. Let's do that. I don't know why. Why we were playing long kicks, that was not intelligent. Jagu just gets toasted. All right, that should go into a into effect there. Let's go back to positive. That was too easy. Alon Dora with the save for PSV. Oh, something else, because I haven't actually played a game with this. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, there was a nice tackle. Poor clearance. Another good defensive play. Nice, but nobody there for the clearance. Oh, nice stab by Jagu. I'm liking what I'm seeing from him for the most part. And I think there's an offsides there. The defenders are calling for it. The side referee has not, the linesman was standing his ground, so they do disallow it. I agree wholeheartedly. That was a horrible, <laughs> horrible play. All right, Vogel brings it up. 
Oh, that was a poor pass. Jesus. He should be passing better than that. He should be passing much better than that. Diallo's not playing well. Vogel's playing horrible. Let's get Shedahull in for him. You know, he was our starter last year. The defenders converged, took the ball out of bounds, sets up a corner. We've only had one shot for the game. I'm not I'm not unhappy. I bounced all the way through the box twice, I think. That was horrible. Oh, look at this. They're just chipping back and forth across the back line. Good block. You know, we're playing pretty well defensively. I'm I'm not unhappy with that. We just need we just need to do a better job in danger of being booked. Bacario? Sure. Let's get some leg fresh legs up top. He's got good finishing. He could be a difference maker for us off the bench. What the hell was that? He literally took the ball and just ran it over the touchline. That was crap. Demand more again. No, didn't get anything on that. Oh my goodness. Heart palpitations. All right, there's shed a hole. At least he kicked it to a teammate. Oh, he was looking inside, but nobody made a run there. Jansen's. Jansen was stride for stride with him. I think we've made three subs. Let me just double check. Yep. So I was seeing somebody was dead tired, Nemeth. And he's already rebounding. Looks like he may have taken a knock. And that's the final whistle. Yeah, we just didn't do anything. Nothing. Not point oh nine. Ew. We had possession. We just couldn't control it. I've got to look at for something. It wasn't a bad tactic. They played well. They played well defensively. They controlled the ball for the most part. Just not a lot of not a lot of oomph in that attack, right? <laughs> I mean, just not a lot. Eighteen to two on shots. Eleven key passes. Nemes out for a day or two. And Vogel made his debut. All right, well, we're going to get into some matches here. We don't have any cup runs or anything, I don't believe, this year. Dutch Cup at the end of October. So that's a ways off. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get through September, maybe. And we'll come back somewhere in here. I'll, I'll look to see where that cup game comes up. Who it's against and that may be a highlight followed by a match or that may be our match preceded by a highlight we'll see so we'll come back sometime in october for the highlight and match guys hit the like button if you've got any tips here uh, i am really struggling with this side big problem is we don't have the salary the payroll cap or the transfer budget to bring in like really really good players most of these guys that we're bringing in are still showing up, you know, like Jagu, three and a half, four star potential. So, I mean, they're good players, but they just don't look as good as the PSVs of the world, right? I mean, yeah, look at that. I mean, all of their, I mean, literally all of their players are four star or better. 
I can't afford guys like that. I mean, look, he's transfer listed ten and a half million dollars. That's that's the problem we're running into. Uh, even the worst guy on their starting team, nine million dollar transfer. I can't sell my players for anywhere near that amount, and that get, means I don't have the money to buy any of these type of players. So, you know, their worst player would be their worst player would probably be in my starting eleven. <laughs> I mean, that's you know. Their worst player would be a pretty solid player in my starting 11, and he would be much better than some of these guys. So, you know, that's, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do at this point. Um, I really find it easier to move up and build teams in England rather than other countries. And this is one of the reasons why, because trying to get a club over this hump um you know one of the things that we looked at was um income and we were last in the league last year um I, when we you know i got that i mean like way last um wasn't even close so you know, I think the big thing is we need to we need to get into the cups. We need to make some cup runs to build our money, and you know, then we're going to end up. I think we're going to just have to end up selling some of our better players. But like I said, even Anachik, we did not get. What was the offer on him? And unfortunately, this is gone. Uh, I was trying to see what what uh, oh, inactive deals. Nope. So yeah, I just I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck right now on how to fit, how to continue building this team, but that's the whole goal is to try to build this club up, you know, in this division. We're finishing mid table. We're projected to be in relegation, so it's not like we're doing horrible. I mean, even this year, we're picked next to last, not to be relegated, but via the playoffs. And that's the goal, stay up via the playoffs. Um, I'm hoping we can be mid-table. But how do we breach that gap when we can't afford players? I'm starting to ramble because I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm at a loss. All right, guys, we'll see you next episode. I'll see how I can get things rolling. And we'll touch base in a couple of days. Take care. Bye.